Uh, here. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. That's my band normally. Uh, is this a band still? I would not really. As a jungler, I usually don't ban other junglers. I just ban like backlines. I don't find fun to play against. So, for example, Neath is like super commonly picked right now, and she's kind of hard to punish. So I just ban Neath personally. As a whenever I play jungle, it's Neath or Neath or Haim I usually ban. Okay. EMC is like third, but my bans change depending on my role. Because it's like different things that are annoying. Right here, I'm like second pick. Um, I'll see if they pick a jungle. If they do pick a jungle, because uh, I I want to see if they pick like I want to see their mid pick, mm -hmm. their carry and their jungle. Uh, so right now, if I don't see like at least one of them, I might try to get something someone else to pick. If you that's can. okay. Yeah, 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 I mean, ideally you want to pick jungle. It's I just. Top pick in ranked because I'm lazy to trade, but uh, you right. can try and hold if you right want. Here, I'm not gonna lie, that's probably might be solo, but that that's more likely to be solo. If that's mid, I kind of want to go Nemesis, especially against the shark. Okay. Nemesis, if you want, yeah. It's up to you. Uh, I think would be nice. Yeah, I mean uh, the other suggestion I would have it would be something like Kamazot, since you can. Uh, Kamazot as well. That's true. I'd say either yeah. of those two. It's up to you, whichever one you yeah, feel more comfortable one, because with. I just love Nemesis. I mean, I play everything. I play every character. I'm not, it's not a problem, but I just love Nemesis for some, for some reason. She's so fun to play. And mainly the thing... Oh, so sorry. You said one second. Then yeah, I'm back now, sorry. All right. The, the things I want to I wanna work on mainly is micros and macros. Uh, like when you invade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like things like that mm -hmm. yeah we'll see uh, as the game goes on so usually with live coaching i would usually have done like uh, like a little bit of log yeah, reviews log from reviews. before which gives yeah. me a little bit more insight on kind of how you play and what to work on uh, because i when doing live it's uh, as much as i want to give like input all the time i also can't you know uh, Kind oh, of I, stop, I, I, stop, I stop your do. decision making too much, you know. Like I need to let you play a little bit That's naturally true. because if you just listen to what I say, then it becomes a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure how to explain it, but it it just yeah. You you kind of need to see like the play yourself. I'm mainly yeah. just gonna help you with the macro when I see you know like if you should be backing or you know th things like that. My stream is lagging. Okay. Uh, do you want to know like? Uh, my top M, what my top MR was. So yeah, so what's your or? peak? My peak was 3k. 3k? Okay, yeah. so you're a pretty good player then. So this should be like a piece, piece of cake. So, I guess essentially you're trying to just get to that, you know, final push to, to start reaching like a MR cap, etc. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this one, I like it, but is spear better spear is better now i used to be better because it had attack speed at the start as well so it was just like it just felt better yeah. all around but now spear spear is just he's way nicer to me there's a couple of different build paths you can go but in my opinion you want to go for like a boomba spear build yeah blink vibrant shard is pretty good you can choose between vibrant shard and horn shard like uh, horn shard is completely fine too it's debatably better in like and well if you're having like a fight you can usually get your cooldowns back off because of it but yeah. it's also nice to just you know with vibrant shard you never have to think about it it's always just passively there for you uh yeah i've been playing around with a vibrant shard uh, I, I normally go um what's the name uh this one the cooldown one one shard yeah yeah but um i kind of like the uh, vibrant shard right now yeah yeah Either is fine, it's just preference. And a lot of the game is just playing with preference. What's not yeah. preference is the start though. You need to start the one, so make sure you do that. Um, yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> and this is also a kind of a preference thing, but what I like to do is I like to go 2 HP, 1 multi. Um, you could go 2 HP, 1 mana just because Kamasots has a little bit extra healing, but the reason for I'm that is just lie, so that you can get that. your earlier spike. I did that out of. Um... 
Uh, I'm just used to being mid. Yeah, yeah. So just not a habit, you mean? Yeah, that's fine. Here is my two useful to get. Level I get two? the two because you can start stacking it. So you wanna use your two on the big carpet here. Now nah, you're a 3k player, so you probably know most things. But yeah, it's just good to stack the the two on the camps. Just try and get your three stacks. It stacks on this camp as well, so just hit the middle one. Right here, they're pretty Standard. advanced. Here, yeah, you have the option to look for dual gank. I generally always go mid, but okay. I should have waited. I knew he was gonna jump, but that's his bees. So. Yeah, it's it's good you got to be somehow the Anubis got a solo kill one v two, so that's good. <clears throat> it was looking like you were holding the one two because you were waiting for the jump. Which was good. Mm. Yeah. Pop your potions. Unless you plan on backing, I usually use the mana pot so you can just aim back. Yeah, normally I would, but I kind of want to go here right now. Yeah, generally I just try to make sure I get like my level 4 pretty quickly. You can hold on to your potion, but if you think you're gonna fight anything, I don't think I'm gonna need it because I. Uh, yeah, if you're planning on backing, you can keep it. I would try and just farm here. Try and split the mid with Anubis because you don't really have any kill potential. Here is pretty. Okay. Let's help him get this. You can even take it if you want. You have the choice here to insta back off this. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna back after that one. What's it called? Yeah, what's it called? The Tiki camp. So I'm in time for uh, red and. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Red. It's just a good time to get your power spike. The only time you don't want to back her is if you think you want to contest the mid harpies, but. Yeah. Because you're a little bit behind, it's just nice to just play the yeah, same Yeah, the gang on the left. I stay. I think it's. I stay too long on the red left, right? Yeah. It was, uh, it could have been a good first part though. Like you were playing it pretty good and then you just got impatient with the one. Good, make sure the mid laner doesn't get that form. Plus one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's not looking at my map, so my fault. I mean, I should have waited, but... Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. He's too, if he's not coming, then it's not worth standing there for like 20 seconds. The mid laner just needs to kind of see that. You can pull it to your solo laner, you, could, you actually have like some kill potential there. That's good. I knew, I knew this one was waiting there, so I yeah, just yeah. went for it. Yeah, I was gonna say, I could, I could tell that you knew he was covering the option you, you looked and you saw. So you just made sure that he couldn't run away that way. Also, it's up yeah, to gonna... you between maxing the 1 and the 2, but I generally max the 2 over the 1. It's just more damage. I prefer the 1 for some reason. It's easier to hit, so maybe that's why. Okay, nice. I think it's better that you ulted there than try to kill him with the 2, because you make sure you don't die to like a random CC past tower aggro. Yeah. Right here, not sure if I want to do my camp right now. I might just rotate left. Uh, I would uh, probably just form here because you don't have your blink and you don't have your ult. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Whenever I don't have like big abilities, unless they're like super overextended and poked out, I will just choose to form. But you saw their HP is kind of high, so and your, your team is pushed on the tower. Mm. Now you can have the option to far more, maybe look for play, but again, you don't have blink or alt, so... Yeah, I'm Just... gonna wait for my blink. 
Now we need to be too forceful. Keep track of what Anubis is doing here. Be careful here. Oh. Yeah. The back is. I think I, s I did not look at my mouse, so I did not see him. Oh, uh, yeah, that, that's what I saw. I saw him uh, on your ward crossing. The yeah, that's what exactly. I was saying. Be careful. And then. Because I heard the sound. Yeah, yeah, I heard the sound, but I did not look for some reason. Uh, here, I normally go into trends, yeah. but is it better to go Hydras? You can go either. Just go. Or you can go Soul Eater if you want. I do that sometimes. Mm. Uh, if you want Hydras built, then. I usually go Hydras and then Transcendence if I'm going uh, Hydras. Again, you have neutral form coming up. Reason. Okay, yeah, you got everything. Uh, pretty good that as well, yeah. That that death was the death of me. <laughs> but uh, does that also have TP? Does he have TP? Yeah. Mm. Okay, it does. You can stay and do the farm. Like, do the side buffs here. There's no point in just leaving. Because you're already here. I don't know if you can dive this. Yeah. That was a waste of black. <laughs> yeah, the the point for me was mainly that because because you're already in the lane and there's form here to contest the uh, totem plus the side buff. You just go and do that side buff because otherwise you're kind of yeah. spending time oh, I, uh... doing nothing. Jungle's probably like my least played, but in the silo I don't really care. It's like mid carry then support. Mm. Okay, yeah. So now, if they push left, you should go hold the left wave. Go left, go left. That tower is just gonna kill the entire wave before the Artemis can make it there. So there's no point in letting that yeah. tower just, you know, kill the wave. That's a bunch of form someone should be taking. And you don't push the next wave though, just the first. Check if the Naga's up quickly before it respawns, you have a few seconds to clear it. You need to be faster to kill like this. Just because it gets eaten by the teleporter. Artemis did mention that um, ultimate is down. Good to keep in mind. I don't know if she meant that uh, yeah. on her or Suki, but... Fight and right happening. Yep. <clears throat> By the way, just because I say something, you don't need to like instantly rotate to it or react to it. It's just I'm just trying to make sure that uh, you see the information that's going on the map, and then you can make a decision based on that. If you want to help or what? Back is the warding. I just get my farm here quickly. Oh. There you go. Good rotation. You probably didn't need to alt that. To be fair, because the yeah. hero was so low. It, it was a panic roll. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, they're fighting in left, by the way, so maybe you guys can look for dive here. You saw two people, right? Keep that in mind. Yeah. Just look what your team is doing and maybe you can help them. Keep in time. <coughs> see, you, you see them pushing your right side, so now you just want to look for invades quickly while they're not around. Try and see whatever. There's a chest there and everything. So the most, I mean, yeah, obviously you're your priority, but 
the important thing is whenever you get kills or whenever you're on like the other side of the map is that if you can't go and hold like the wave in solo that was pushing that you just look for the form on the other side of the map like you did now you got purple buff green buff um etc okay. so just making sure that you're always trying to trade something on the map you're not just reacting and being pulled to and doing nothing right You saw that camp spawn? Not here, no, I have it, yeah. Yeah, well, so you're pretty safe. Mid tower's getting very poked. And the hero used Aegis. Nice juke. I would just play for my uh, items here. You see the buffs are coming up okay. and Anubis already there. Yeah, I'm fine. I don't have anything to worry about. Okay. Like in this instance, instead of staying mid there, I would just walk straight to the buffs to clear them with the uh, Anubis. So you get yeah. to split them, and then you get the Tiki, and then I would just try and look for... I would look for a reset pretty soon, just for you peace. Yeah, that's true. Because uh, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I thought the Anubis would've come faster, like come to waste for it and go to red, but I should not assume that these things. Yeah, I mean, if if you if someone's already close to the camp, then it's better just to just go to the it. camp. Yeah. Also there you just ignore the blue for some reason, it's just just bit it with the solo laner. This is good though, you're looking for some farm while you know they're not around. Mm, yeah. Nice advice. Mm -hmm. Nice try on the juke. I'm not sure if uh, if you knew he didn't have alt there, or like if you thought he didn't have alt, if that's why you held on to your blink, or... Yeah. <clears throat> that's unlucky. He got like the, the one on you, max range. Mm -hmm. Which stopped you from being able to just blink to the, the alt reaction. But you also could have insta blinked, exactly. of course. Mm. That's right. I don't, I don't talk a lot right now. I'm just concentrating. This is an A. Yeah, yeah. You just, just play your game. This should be good. That should be another free kill. Yeah, he has no mana. Nice. Good observation on their gank there. Or like how, how far pushed up they were and... I somehow have a lowest FPS for some reason. Maybe because of the Discord. Ooh, what a trap! Yeah, that oh. trap was nice. Okay, go Should we go for gold oh, here? Yeah. For you. you have enough time, yeah. Only Hera can really rotate. Your team needs to come though. If they don't come, you just look for farm. Yeah, I already missed that. Look at what Nubis is doing in mid. Take the win. Nice patience. It was good that you ended up uh, just playing it slow there was good. Secure me just came up. Yeah, it's a good time to reset now. It's good that you're back here instead of going back and do your form because it's gonna slow you down a lot. Yeah. Right, 
right here. No, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Um, Is Shaq killable here? What items does he have? Um, you have your serrated, maybe. You're probably gonna need a rotation though. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. Fighting mid as well. Fine. Just clear your Tiki. Don't don't just walk past it. You can do it and then you can hold the mid wave. Oh, nice collapse. Two combo together there. Tiki's coming back. This guy's killable. Oh, I don't know what he's doing. Just wanted to confirm it. Uh, my FPS is so bad right now. Yeah, it might be the stream. Or maybe this Optimus is getting gone on hard. Oh, I thought you would just um, go. Uh, yeah. Nice. I mean... Completely fine to try and pre-beat that impale there. I probably would have done the same, so... <laughs> Escape's gone on a rampage. Good, getting the farm. Keep in mind, they're dead for a long time. Potential for gold fury. Yeah. You see where Bacchus is, you see where Hera is, so... Yeah, Bacchus is here, Hera's on the right. Mm. I think it's free. Hera just, I mean, Bacchus can steal it if he steals it, then get unlucky, I guess. He's mid as well. Uh, keep in mind they might be tra trying to trade here. They might go pyro or something. You have beacon yeah. stuff coming up though. It's completely fine to just give it if you don't feel uh, like you can defend. No, it's fine. For me, yeah, it's fine. Guy playing good? Yeah, it's a pretty good player. Right here. You want... I don't know if... Uh, I, I mean, think our gonna... ticker is better. Are you gonna go... Uh, you have a slightly different build. Are you gonna go Boomba's Hammer? Uh, no. If you're going Spear, then you shouldn't go Hydras because you're gonna be overcapping with Heartseeker. You can only get Heartseeker then. Get Heartseeker and like a Bloodforge last item. Because remember, Spear has 10% uh, pen. And Heartseeker is 10% yeah. and Serrated 20, so that would be 40 already. And if you got a Hydras on top of that, you'd be at 50% pen. Yeah. This is live exo. At this stage of the game, a good thing to do is just trying to see if you can find like picks on people, like whoever you think is killable, because it uh, translates to looking for like bigger objectives. Right. But you know, don't force anything. He probably has, I guess. Clear the wave we've gone. I'm dead. No. That's blink on someone I didn't see. That was blink on back. Wait, they both have blink. Okay, yeah. I'm not sure which one blink. Oh, it's pushing up left now. Yeah, that was like a pretty bad trade though, because... Yeah, like, exactly. I'm not sure if I beat it, you when I said like, you want to look for picks, but... You want to look for picks, but you, you want to be doing it around your teammates so that yeah um you know sometimes you, you can just do it completely on your own right but you saw them all in right jungle 
and you didn't have vision on either Bacchus or Sukiomi, so just a risky play to go for. Okay. okay. I need to up your volume because I don't hear you. Okay. Okay. That's nice. Um, I think we saw Anu use relics there too. Something to keep in mind. Uh, what? I think we saw Anu use relics there too. Something to keep in mind. No, yeah, yeah, Anu, yeah. Didn't have time to jump. They should. Oh, the Artemis trap. Nice sidestep. I was gonna say there. Uh, when you see your team is hitting the other guy, I would just swap targets there. It was fine okay. to go on Anu and slow him, but once he jumped away and your team was just hitting the truck, just just turn, just turn around. Yeah, just turn around and just hit the same person as your team. Unless you think so, you can kill the honor on your own, um, but in that case yeah. you weren't able to, so... So then we have more momentum to um, do fire. Yeah. Right here. Uh, okay. Oh, and they stole it as well. I was... Does he have blank? I think he does. Oh. That's a rough one. That was very unfortunate. Mm. I'm not even sure what stole it. Yeah, that, that FG call was just a bit rough because you didn't have an ultimate, I'm pretty sure. And you didn't have any great god for securing. That has kind of just like a straight up 50 50. Also, yeah. just one HP. Maybe that Artemis? Nice. That's item. I'm thinking about like. Would a Magi's be good? Because I, I don't think any more damage. Um, I would just go more damage. I don't think you. I don't think this is a god that needs defense most of the time. It's mostly just for when I attack. Don't need to be every time. If you if you want Magi's, you can go it. And I mean, if it's better, go more damage. It's fine, but I'll, I'll need to watch more my positioning, I guess. Well, the point, yeah, it's it's up to you if you want a blood forge or not, because the blood forge can also help you a lot in team fights. Okay. And it's gonna give you a lot of sustain too. Should he have gone on them? Okay, what the fuck was that? Hmm? <laughs> Good patience, Alice. Good patience on Aegis, you know what? The thing I care about is the decision making. The execution is a different story. <laughs> it was actually good that you walked that tip there, because you had to jump up so you could catch the gap, or close the gap after. Yeah. Should he have gone on him there on the on the FG? I don't think he could because I think he was too weak. So I, I think like the only thing they could really do was just 50-50 that. I just think it was a bad call. Madrice is a skill issue, let him know. Yeah, there you go. You can't be taking that. What? They're saying Madrice is a skill issue. Yeah, I, I'm bad at the game so I need it. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, Bumbo Spear. Yeah, go Spear, go Spear. I'd say, I generally go Spear on Kama. Alright, now I have... I should have went for the right, uh, Spear. Wait, it's not up yet. That's up in 30 volts up. Just play the objective, you just wait. You, <coughs> you don't need to force anything now. Just uh, play kind of close to your team, and just be ready to to collapse if a fight breaks out. But you don't need to start anything. Just farm. Just try and get your last item online. At this stage of the game, it's kind of when the jungle gets to farm the most, 
Because you don't, there's yeah. nothing really to gank, so all you can do is really just walk around and farm until like it's ready to fight. So for example, now you could just go, clear, like I'll clear the backs, the blue, you could pu push on the solo side. And then you're just ready to to group with your team if if they're looking for play. Uh, I keep forgetting about that thing. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I haven't played Conquest like yeah, I haven't played Conquest like a very long time. Look, 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 you. Hmm? They're collapsing, careful. That's her I guess. That's big. Nice flank. Oh no. I think still. Oh, are you flanking? What is the northern? It looks like you're fine. You can maybe hold the FG here if you get your back. Because they haven't pulled it yet and they were quite poked. The Hera probably had to back. You have Arthur spawning in 25. Uh, it's gonna be tough to get to this FG. Oh, actually they're pushing mid. Okay, this is good. Get a sentry. I forgot about the sentry. It's fine. I'll let you think a bit here of what you wanna do. Here you you actually could have beat the slow and just yeah chase that because the the pick is worth the beats because if you kill him you guys can probably do FG yeah but you know it's not a play you have to go for it's just it wasn't a, a possibility but yeah now just be, be ready for the FG here I was gonna say you played a fight on the right side really well at the start like. Just getting in, getting out, getting poke on the hero, getting re relics and then reinitiating. You pull the Sukiomi around you. Hero doesn't have Vegas. Definitely wanna fight here. Look where your team is. Try and get your team. I just play um, life, play your life, play your life. Scared. Don't don't go taking any risks. Just survive. You can heal up on like the wave or something. You have pools as well. You guys can Nice. Again, just go sustain. Go sustain somewhere. You can heal on the midwave or something. Just, just go heal. Yeah. I, I heal for nothing. Mm -mm. I took way too much time going to mid. It's fine, you still pushed the wave. You were too low to really do anything in the fight, so... Look at Artemis. Uh, 
Nice. A nice good pick. I have bling, I can do something you, here. Yeah, you, you can slow chase, just uh, make sure you don't get hit by any ability. Nice. Yeah, you got the blood force passive now, you can just chase. Just uh... Okay, nice. Reset FG, reset FG. Just back FG. Upgrade your Jotun's Cliff. Left. Sentry. 500 bot. It's fine. Just get a sentry. Go, go to FG, you have, you have time. You have 4 seconds on the Artemis. You and the Anubis can do the Pyro together. Hopefully they don't hit mid here. Let's do Kjalt. Okay, nice. So, Anhur just spawned. Can just do the big FG. You can hit the FG, but what you can also do is you can start... Uh, once he gets a bit lower, you can zone the Anhur. Just look for him, because you can kill him if he walks up on his own. And if he's not here, you just go back to FG. Yeah, buddy, 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 buddy. No, uh, do we go le left right? Or mid? Could have altered the slow. Yeah, but if you altered the slow, then... Yeah, I mean, yeah, either way. Um, you can just go any, any tower. You just go mid now, because you group mid. You have 10 seconds before the Suki spawns. You probably... I don't know if you can Phoenix Siege here. I'll probably just get the towers, actually. I'd call for your team to go left. Yeah. Help Artemis. Oh my god, he's trapped. He's trapped. He's trapped. <laughs> oh no. You dead. Okay. Yeah, you just kinda got blown up there. Fine, you guys got a phoenix. As long as your two people are yeah, alive and die, you, you don't lose. But yeah, just, we lost the edge, yeah. Just tell them don't die. If they, if they don't die, you can hold the titan, for sure. What's that nail biter? Good, I guess. They can't end. This should be fine. Oh, my mouse. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, yeah. My mouse somehow died and it's wired, so I don't know why. Okay, you guys are kind of on a timer now because the Geb is leaving, so... Nice, big kill. Two big kills, you guys should just push left here. <laughs> Wait, what? This guy's just lagged out IRL. What? <laughs> what? what was that? <laughs> okay, that's game. Okay. That's okay. Bro, 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 uh, bro wanted. Uh, bro wanted the 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 Jimmy. Okay. Oh. Oh. What the fuck? Did you cancel the ult? Just be careful here. Is it tight with you? Okay, nice. Nice. 
fight. Um, I mean, it was a pretty decent game for the most part. You <laughs> kind of seemed like it was a little bit too easy for you this lobby. So you didn't really have to like challenge. I, I'm not gonna lie, I did not think like really in the game. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I was mostly autopiloting. Um, just sometimes when you speak to me, I was like, when you spoke to me, I was like, okay, I need to think. But as soon as you stop talking, I don't know why. I just went back to auto mode. For some <laughs> um, I don't know what I can say about that. I don't know. Oh um, yeah. Uh, so, uh, what are the main things? I mean, in this game, you played fairly well i'd say you just don't sometimes you don't understand like where to be when the form is coming up and like or like yeah. when to hold the wave when to leave it like i kind of had to guide you where you had to go for like the buffs so yeah. just just that and then maybe like a little bit in like fights you were mm -hmm. maybe a bit like jittery on ability usage as in like you would waste like your alt sometimes or you would oh, you know yeah, like yeah. like on the first gank for example you played it really good blinking in and then you slow him you auto attack like twice and you know he has a jump up and then you you decide to just use the one when he has the jump instead of just holding it yeah so, yeah. so things like that just, <laughs> yeah. just to like work on in fights and then in the late game um after you got like the mid phoenix that death you had was really unnecessary what we can do yeah. is just I can just quickly see if I can get it up on my stream, so I can just go through quickly those fights before when the coaching session. Um, okay. Just to try and highlight it. I... Yeah. But as I Should said, I uh, because... close the stream? Um, yeah, you can close your Discord stream for now. I'm streaming on my... You can go into my Twitch, and I'll just go through the vote quickly. I'll just go through every death fast, and we'll just see kind of what happened, and we can just talk about those a little bit. But uh, yeah, for the most part, you played pretty well. You definitely like were above the skill level of the lobby, so it's it's kind of hard to give a lot of advice when you're just able to kind of do whatever. Um. Okay, so here this first death in mid was completely avoidable. Here you should have instantly spotted the buckers. I saw him as soon as he showed up on the ward, and you also saw him in your like peripheral vision. Um, so just seeing seeing that the Bacchus was coming and then just, you kind of just have to let your Anubis die here. There's nothing you can do. You're not a superhero, sadly. Um, even after all that, you, like when you walked up here, you could still have just jumped. Like you didn't jump the Tsukiyomi 3. And then the Bacchus gets the flop. So like, there's so much damage here you could have avoided even by playing up. Even if you like didn't spot the Bacchus rotation, right? And then, with the farm here, as I said, you just, if the if the lane isn't around to clear the buff and you've, you're you pulling it, you know, you can't stop and stand and wait, so it's good that you're just clearing them and not hesitating. Oh, another thing I noticed was that sometimes you would walk to like a wave or whatever, you would walk here and then be like, oh, I can't do anything. Um, or like the, the Arthur would TP, but instead of splitting the wave and like contesting the neutral format, because they still form up for you to contest. Like, wherever you go, try and make your uh, rotation worth something. So, like, you're doing something. Even if the Chuck walks up and you can't kill him, right? But while you're here, just try and, like, poke him, for example. And that can help your author get some pressure in the lane. Or it just helps alleviate pressure. And then, as I said, you're just going for the form anyway. The, the main point is that you're trying to uh, make sure that you get in that form. And it's completely fine to split it with Arthur. Here is kind of like a bad example of that because you blink in and like like walking up and trying to poke him or whatever was fine before the buff. Uh, and this what you do a lot of the time is that you try and poke people out before a buff comes up so that they can't contest it safely and if they walk up to contest it you can kill them right. But here you didn't need to blink for example you could just walked up you could have poked him a little bit and then you could have went and done the farm. Um, and then you like you just chase too much a little bit so. Just being a bit snappier in your decision to be like, okay, you know what, that's fine. Small win, get out.
Stream. Oh yeah, I guess hour. Let's see, was this the fight? Wait, did you have alt because of... Let's see. Yeah, I mean, you probably didn't need to alt there. I mean, you definitely didn't need to, but... It wasn't the worst thing in the world to alt. You're just not taking any extra damage for it, so... I don't mind avoiding damage. If you have any questions or anything, just let me know by the way. Because uh, you're completely free to ask. Oh yeah, this was like the play. Going for the TK here is completely, should be kind of fine. And then you're like juking. But here, as soon as you saw like a lot of people collapsing, I would just install and try and get out. And then I would just... I just blink here, honestly, like straight after that. Just, just blink. It's not worth risking anything. You just end up dying because you want to hold on to it. But better to just play your life. You're already making them three people chase you so far, so just making them chase you on its own is like good enough. It's you know they're not doing anything else. They're just chasing. Wait, are you still here? Do you hear me? Oh wait, are you watching in the stream? I just realized that we're not in the call. Okay, that's fine. I left? Oh! Where I'm calling. Hello? <laughs> yeah, you did left. <laughs> oh, I thought I closed your stream. I didn't... I, I, thought, I thought you were just like listening. No, I mean, I, I was listening to the stream, but I was not listening in the call, because you were ah, like, okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> I was like, uh, how am I going to ask questions, but it's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's, because <laughs> that, <laughs> that's what I was wondering, because you didn't ask anything, you didn't say anything, I was like, I just now checked yeah, it's this, okay. my bad, that's, yeah. That's uh, it's okay, I should I should have told it. But yeah, um, mostly like the blink part, uh, when they blinked on me, yeah, I, I tried to hold on to it because I don't think they would have blinked on me. Mm -hmm. uh, I, but yeah, they, they, they actually did, so. Yeah. Because I'm not used, like, uh, like I got to keep in mind that they don't play, like, the same way they play in 3K lobbies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, like, I would not know they would have blinked on me there because uh, normally they don't. So, like, I just jump away and they leave me. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, I think the Tsuku was probably maybe not a smurf, but someone that's probably higher level than this Slavi. Yeah, he and sure not yeah, uh, on the player. Yeah, so he actually blinked on me, so I should have blinked. Like, if I were in um, a higher would, lobby, yeah, I would yeah, I probably it. consider it more. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I did hold on to it, it was a mistake, I agree. Because it was not a blink during mid where, like, when the had jump up, it's you know, sometimes you will get your ability off in time, but if you think they're gonna jump, or they have the leap, usually you can just blink and wait for them to use their leap or their escape, and then you use your ability on their landing. So you just get a free yeah. ability, like... Because it's easier to actually hit abilities of people using their, like, jumps, because they can't, yeah. they can't juke in the air. Yeah. Um, let's see... Oh yeah, I'm just fast-forwarding through the game with because we're basically at the top. Been like an hour or so. Just want to see like the deaths. Usually those have like stuff to watch back. Like right here previews. And I mean, I, I'm i not like gonna tell you it was like terrible because he might have impaled you and then maybe he could live because of it. But mm. you know, he pre beats and then he jumped. Or like you pre beats and he jumped, like whatever. Ideally, yeah, you do hold on to it there, but... It's easy to to not really. I mean, you're just expecting something, and it is something else, yeah. and that's just what happens sometimes. A big thing I had before was that, like, I would try to. Sometimes, though, I would like get too. I would try to predict too much, in like how they're gonna do it. So, like, you like 
three beats like too preemptively. Like sometimes you can just be very reactive in how you play, and you kind of have mm-hmm. like almost like a flow chart on like if they do this, you do this, and like it, it just becomes like instinctual. Here, this was like okay. this was like the only play in the game I would say was really bad, because it gave them such <laughs> a bad or like big uh, comeback swing here. Because you look yeah. for this play, and here, for because I guess maybe you were still in your one animation. But you just can't get hit by the polymorph, and whether you alt it or or you uh, three it, that's kind of up to you. Like here, you could have just three it. So instead of like shooting your one here, when you know he has a CC ability, just hold yeah. on to your like leap, wait for him to charge that attack, and then you use your leap or your alt to avoid it, and then you just save the one, and then you can use the one afterwards. But because yeah. your animation uh, uh, locked yourself, you just yeah just died. Yeah, but you that's true. Pick but the the thing that you just explained, uh, this what this fight I did not do it, but uh, I I think I did it like last time, like in other fights. But yeah, this this fight that's a hundred percent true. I should have jumped it. I would have had my one after. I would have killed it faster, and then I probably would have lived because uh, they were not close enough. Yeah, exactly. And you you would have still had your alt and everything and. Yeah, and you would have been full HP too, which is like a big difference. It's just like you would have healed up a little bit on the three, and but yeah, the 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 reason that that is so bad is because you cannot spit from your team. Your team isn't really able to do anything as you're dying. Yeah. It's not like they're doing an objective because sometimes even if you like you look for a pick and they're doing your team is doing an objective, you're getting the objective mm-hmm. off the map, and they you know it's hard for them to kind of punish anything. But then you kind of just die, and what can happen is that your team like comes comes in late to try and help. And then maybe they die as well, you know, like butterfly effect, and then like that's how you can like throw a game quite easily. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's why like in the mid to late game, it's really hard in ranked for me to be like patient and like play properly. Because you know it's just ranked. So I understand, you know, sometimes you're just going for like weird random plays. But in general, just just try and play around like what your team is doing and see you know, just keep an eye on them and then if you see an opportunity for something then you know you can look for it then but just make sure that whatever play you do is like um low risk high reward or like low risk low reward kind of like, thing just just don't look for like high risk plays in mo- un- okay. unless you're far behind you know if you're far behind and okay. you're losing the game then the only thing you can do is take risks because you're not right gonna... here right here you could have just hold on onto my blank um let me see here Like, yeah, right here. Yeah, you could have not used it because they were in range for you to use your abilities, right? You could have just one do the hero. I used it because I because I sh- I saw that she blinked and uh, not blinked but the beats and her abilities were probably gonna be up soon, so I wanted to kill her faster. But I think I should have hold on to it as well. I I mean, if you if you don't need to use the blink a lot of the time, you just it's. Okay. Most cases, if you can hold on to something, you want to hold on to it. But sometimes you're okay. on a timer, you know? If you think you're on a timer, then yeah, of course you blink. But okay. there and, and this... shouldn't have been one. Okay. And in this fight, like the fight that was before when I blinked in, uh, mm-hmm. like the time the time I go in, what do you look for? Do you look at the map where they are, then your teammates left, then... What did you use and all that? Yeah, all that I just kind of stuff, I just or? look at like how people are positioned. Like, is anyone spread out from the from the enemy team? Um, okay. I just look at the position of the enemies. I look at the health bars, and then you know you're always gonna have like a priority. Like if if you can kill a carry, for example, you want to kill a carry. But sometimes you know they're like full HP. They have both relics up, and you know okay. there's like a solo laner that's like poked out or like their support. And you just help your team hit the same guy. Sometimes you can just go on the back line. Sometimes you you know someone's just like wandering off on their own trying to like reset and you just find that pick. Um, that's the yeah. thing you you have to just be very observant and just kind of look for what you think you can can do you know. And sometimes you can't even get like a kill. You just try and help your team deal okay. damage then on whoever they're hitting. Okay. Um. And that's one thing as a jungler, guys, you have to look like I love playing support, like especially mm-hmm. Fafnir. Um, 
Thunder is so fun, like the way you play it, like the armor you have to hold on to it, uh, like all the auras you can get to get to team your your team to kill things, your, the enemy team faster. Yeah. Uh, that's the kind of play I, I like to do. But like when you're a jungler, you have to hold on to a single target and like eliminate eliminate them the faster you can, so you can win the fight. Um, and like gank and all that stuff. That that's less of my uh play style which why i kind of wanted to play jungle mm -hmm. today because it's one of my weaker roles um yeah and it's mostly macros and ma macros like i said um yeah yeah and, yeah um the way you hold on to your abilities keep them and that's that's one thing i have to keep into my uh muscle memory as well yeah I mean, it's just something you like get better at with time is just uh min maxing like your ability usage like you're not gonna yeah. be perfect with it always like sometimes you will overuse and sometimes maybe you even underuse where like you hold on when you shouldn't have held on but it's just yeah. trying to get a good feeling for it but all right so it's been yeah i was gonna say this 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 fight was like i liked how you played it though because what you did is you walked in you got the poke off and then you disengaged you wait for your abilities to come back up, and then like the Sugiyomi is just chasing you the entire time. Like it's actually really bad by him because he's not really achieving too much by chasing you. He's barely got any damage off. And now uh, maybe you could have killed the hero here with like a little bit more spells or whatever. Hit. My my mouse got stuck in oh, this yeah. clip. <laughs> your your team for sure should have just backed out here, though. This was like just kind of like a weird rope extension. You know, you just got two kills and yeah. everyone's booked out. You guys should have just backed out, but that's not on you. Um, Here, I should have not jumped in as well. I don't know why I jumped in. And then, like, the the last play was, like, second... The only, like, second death that kind of was super important. Like, this at the stage of the game where, like, if you die, you can just lose the game, which is kind of yeah. boring, because you can play a really good game up until this point, and then you just make one mistake, and the game's over. But here... And that's wh And that's why laning does not matter. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> But here, like when I was calling for you to like uh, help the Artemis, like you're just trying to keep keep her alive, but you know, you're always playing your life. You, yeah. You're like basically never gonna die for anyone else. Um, Just, you know, to save them. Okay. Because I'm kind of used to supporting as well. Because yeah. when you support, you play you pl you, you play uh, the life of your yeah, 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 exactly. carry. Of course. But that's so, generally like, I'm kind of used to thinking as well. Yeah. Now I just want to play my life. I want to be selfish. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You just gotta be selfish because you, you, you still are so valuable as an assassin because of uh, being able to do structures and stuff and look for picks and whatever. And just in late game, just staying alive can just stop the enemy team from being able to end if like your team just wipes. Um, but yeah, okay. did you have any final questions before we? Uh, uh yeah, uh yeah, we are we're over the board. Uh, I just want to ask you, um, would you think we could have another one, uh, for mid? One day? Yeah, yeah, of course, man, of course. Okay. We'll just skip that. Alright, that, that... right, that's nice. Uh, cause... Solo, I don't replay, I hate. Uh, I hate Solo. And mid is not the laning phase, it's mostly uh, the late game fights. Especially, uh, I'm gonna try to, um... It's gonna be a VAT, though. Um, yeah, yeah. Cause I'm gonna try to get a game when, uh, it's a, it's a comp that's pretty complicated for certain, certain character. Mm -hmm. and that's what I that's what I want to uh, improve on okay. when the the matchups bad and things like that. Yeah. Just uh, yeah. let me know, right. know when and uh, yeah, are you gonna be recording it then? So it's gonna be like a recorded one. Yeah, I'll or... try. Because that's gonna that's ideal yeah, if try. you can. Um. But yeah. Okay. All right. It's been All right fun, I'll man. try. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you a lot. Yeah. Take care. See you yeah. and good luck in your games. Bye.